Hi, I'm Yuka Sasama from Ibaraki University, Japan. Our research is about the novel dual active bridge converter using AC heating technique for electric vehicles. Here, you can see two gates highlights. Electric vehicles are equipped with a lithium ion battery. However, the practical use at low temperatures faces a severe problem of shortened driving distance due to the characteristics of the battery. Today, I'd like to talk about the dual active bridge dub converter integrating an inverter for an AC heating to improve a driving distance in cold climates. This converter can achieve a simplified system and low cost by integrating two converters. Experimental results demonstrated 12 cell battery heating and bidirectional power flow. Here is the outline of my presentation. First, I will introduce about issues of heating a lithium ion battery. Then, I will propose a novel dub converter. And lastly, I will describe experimental results using this lithium ion battery. Background Let me begin by talking about the necessity of heating the battery. Here, you can see the graph about the discharge characteristics of the lithium ion battery with a C over 3 rate at 4 temperatures. A horizontal line shows time and the vertical line shows the voltage of the lithium ion battery. Focusing on the dark blue line of minus 20 degrees, you can see the reduced discharging voltage and time. They result in a shortened driving distance, therefore heating battery is necessary for cold climates. So a variety of heating methods have been proposed and the common way is external heating. This figure shows the battery system using an external heating technique. The lithium ion battery is connected with a load through a bidirectional converter like a dub converter and heated by an external heater through a heating medium like air or liquid. This technique has a problem of low heating efficiency due to a heat leak at the heating medium and also in the practical use of electric vehicles since a battery system is so huge, uniform heating is difficult. It leads to premature deterioration of lithium ion battery. To solve these problems, AC heating has been proposed. This figure shows the equivalent circuit of a lithium ion battery. A lithium ion battery charges and discharges by the transfer of electrons between the positive and negative electrodes immersed in the electrolyte solvent. The positive and negative electrodes are represented by an LC parallel circuit and the electrolyte solvent is represented by a pure resistance. ASIC heating technique heats up the battery by utilizing a joule heat generated by AC current flowing through resistance of electrolyte solvent. When DC current is used, the current flows on the red dashed line and the charge discharge reaction takes place. The charge discharge reaction at low temperatures brings about the premature deterioration or internal short circuit due to lithium deposition. On the other hand, the AC current with a frequency of a kilohertz or higher flows on the blue dashed line. This dude doesn't accompany the charge discharge reaction so that AC heating can heat a battery without a degradation. Here, we have the figure about the battery system using the AC heating technique. The heating efficiency is high without the heat leak, and thanks to uniform heating, a long life is achieved. However, since an AC current is applied to a DC battery, an inverter is naturally required. Therefore, there are problems of increased system complexity and cost and it has not been put to practical use. So today, I will propose a circuit that integrates this inverter and this bidirectional converter, proposed dub converter. Here is a proposed dub converter. This converter is derived from the integration of a series resonant inverter and a dub converter. The proposed converter can deduce four switches by sharing two legs so achieve the simplified system and low cost. This converter operates either in the AC heating mode or power transfer mode. By operating the two modes with different switching frequency FS of a kilohertz order in AC heating mode and several can kill health order in power transfer mode, the two modes will not interfere with each other. In the next few slides, I'll be showing you operations in both two modes. This slide shows the operation of AC heating mode. In this mode, switching frequency is a kill health order to heat the battery without the charge discharge reaction. Only primary side switches are given and generate the AC current ILC 
by serial resonant tanks. It should be noted that high side switches synchronize and so do low side switches. So the primary wiring is short circuited and its voltage VP is zero. Thus, this converter can heat up the battery without transferring power to the secondary side. At the beginning of modes 1 and 3, since the current is zero, all switches achieve GCS canon. Also, at the end of modes 1 and 3, since the current direction is from the source side to drain side and body diodes conduct, all switches achieve GVS cutoff. In AC heating mode, the dissonant frequency FR is set to about twice of switching frequency to operate in the discontinuous current mode DCM with a period when the AC current ILC is zero. DCM is known to have constant current characteristics, realizing overcurrent protection for batteries. This slide shows the operation of the power transfer mode. Similar to traditional gap converters, the converter transfers the power by directionally by phase shift control. The switching frequency is several ten kilohertz order. As a result, the switching frequency becomes sufficiently higher than the dissonant frequency, and the dissonant tank has a high impedance so that it is possible to transfer the power with almost no current flowing through the dissonant tank. By operating at different switching frequencies in this way, the two modes are independent. Experimental verification. Now, I'd like to show you the results from our experimental verification. We did a lithium ion battery heating test and a power transfer test using this prototype. We experimented with the aim of battery heating by AC heating in this experimental platform using a thermostatic chamber. Here are the experimental conditions. To satisfy the conditions I described, we designed the dissonant frequency to 5.4 kHz and so we set the switching frequency to 2.5 kHz which is about half of the dissonant frequency. The initial temperature of this ion battery was minus 11 degrees. Here you can see the experimental results of the dissonant ion battery heating test. These waveforms agreed well with the theoretical ones and verified the DCM operation of the prototype. The bottom left picture shows the temperature distribution observed by the the sum graphy. These pictures demonstrated that the temperature increased by flowing AC current in the battery. This graph shows the temperature evaluation of battery. The temperature of battery rose to 0 degree within 10 minutes. These results demonstrated that the proposed converter could heat up the lithium ion battery by AC heating. Now, I'd like to show you a power transfer test. In this test, we simulated the lithium ion battery using large capacity electrolytic particles and by directionally transferred the power using the DC power supply and the electronic load to investigate the impact of dissonant tanks. Power conversion efficiencies of the gap converter alone were also measured by removing dissonant tanks. Here are the experimental conditions. We set the switching frequency to 50 kHz so that it is far from the dissonant frequency. Here, you can see the experimental results of the power transfer test. As you can see the measured Q waveforms, the current of the dissonant tank represented by the green line is sufficiently smaller than the current flowing through the transformer represented by the purple line. Here are the measured characteristics of output power as a function of phase shift angle. This figure demonstrates that the proposed converter could transfer the power by directionally by phase shift control like a traditional gap converter. Here are measured power conversion efficiencies of conventional gap converter and proposed gap converter. This graph shows the impact of the added resonant tank on the power efficiency of the proposed gap converter was very minor. As a result, the proposed converter could transfer power by directionally with minor efficiency loss compared with a conventional gap converter. I'd like to conclude by making the following points. In this presentation, I propose the gap converter integrating an inverter for an AC heating to improve a driving distance in cold climates. By sharing two legs, four switches can be deduced. This converter operates either in the AC heating mode or power transfer mode, and by operating the two modes with different switching frequency, two modes will not interfere with each other.
and I showed some experimental results. Our results indicate the following. First, the battery's temperature rose from minus 11 degrees to 0 degree within 10 minutes by AC heating. Second, the proposed converter transferred the power bidirectionally with minor efficiency loss compared with conventional gap converter. Well, this brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.